Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for giving me a little bit of time last week. I had a huge job, a monster job. I can't even believe I did it. It's been 12, 14 years since I personally have completed a job that big. And trust me, I don't think I want to do it again anytime soon. So we missed last Thursday's video, so I apologize for that. Thank you for your patience. But we're back this week. We're back on track, back on schedule. We have the video today, Monday, and we'll be back Thursday and follow suit with the same schedule moving forward on Mondays and Thursdays. As you can see, we have a special visitor down in the SLB Basement Bourbon Bar today. My good buddy Justin is here with me. We worked together for several years in the same spot, became good friends. We kind of separated workplaces for a while. I moved on, moved back to where uh, my contracting business that I've had for many, many years. And Justin moved on to a different location, which he's much happier with and doing very well with. An excellent guy, excellent guy to work with, man. It was fantastic to work with you and to get to know you and your family, just a stand-up dude. Now, this is the main reason why Justin is here tonight, because we're gonna do a bottle review. It's one of the latest releases from Bardstown and Trenton. You knew I had to do this. I'm gonna to have to read the bottle because Lord knows I'm not gonna remember this. This is Bardstown Bourbon Company, and it's their one of their latest releases. It's straight bourbon whiskey, finished in Founders KBS, aged stout barrels hey that's a mouthful <laughs> and to be truthful with you justin knows me better than most people trenton knows me more than most anybody i don't like beer <laughs> i don't know what it is my brother has tried to have me you know he's tried to give me a beer justin a million times oh gee chris one this one's real For light sure. this yeah. one's this this one's that it's just not my bag it's not my thing and so in order to do this bottle justice and to give it an, an accurate review, I wanted Justin to be here because Justin is, is our resident beer expert. Well, I don't know about <laughs> expert, but uh, you know, thanks for having me here hey, first man. off. All uh, right. I'm really anxious to dig in here. This is a this is up my alley. It's it's what I like, the, the beer and the yep. bourbon and yeah. you know, we, we, we just like to enjoy this kind of stuff together so yep yep there's no doubt about that justin was here on our last live show we had a good time then too he comes down every once in a while and, and always happy to see him i back to my conversation of the beer i'm just not a big beer guy justin is is knee deep into craft beers all kinds of different beers right different craft oh, yeah. beers and so on and so forth now he tells me actually i'll just shut up because i don't know what i'm talking about give me a little bit a little bit of uh of the of the down low on this kbs here Okay, um, well, when Kurt told me um, Bartstown was coming out with the Founders KBS release, I was pretty excited because Founders is a fantastic craft brewery uh, up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and the KBS, which stands for Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Oh, is that uh, right? That, that's what okay. the KBS I, stands for. No idea. Um, is, is a very popular uh, Imperial Stout, which means it's a higher alcohol content. Uh, up above, uh, this one's up at 12%, and uh, it's rated highly on rate beer at 4.36, untapped 4.4. Those are very high scores. Uh, it's it's always uh, one of the top beers of the year. Um, it's got a lot of roasted uh, flavors, coffee, chocolate, vanilla huh. notes, and. Hey. Uh, that sounds like flavors I might like, that's for sure. And I, I notice out here on the bar, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I, I notice out here on the bar, uh, we're gonna get to the bourbon first and then we're gonna move on to the beer. We both decided that'd be the best way for tasting. But I wanted to mention while you're talking about the KBS is, is the pour that we have here in these beer glasses. It's extremely dark from my humble experiences of, of looking at beer is mostly more golden or lighter than this. Yeah, so stouts, porters, what have you, they're, they're darker, more roasted um, grains. That, that's where that color comes from. Doesn't okay. necessarily mean that it's heavier. It can be, um, but, uh, you know, and, and up there at uh, 12%, it does have a little bit, 
more viscosity to it and everything. Yeah, but, it looks like it might. Uh, I poured the glasses and it looked like it was it was had a little bit of viscosity to it for sure. And we've got it. We've had got a port here. It's been coming a little bit closer to room temperature. It really starts to open up the tasting, flavoring notes of of this kind of beer. And you told me that. Yeah. Uh, a little while ago when we were prepping for the show, you said it's it's best tasted close to room temperature, not straight out of the refrigerator. Correct, correct. Huh, that's that's news to me too. All right, well, let's keep it moving, Justin. Let's get into the, the bourbon first yeah. and see what we have. Because as you can see, I got a little bit out of there and, and I've shared it. My brother was down here. You know, I, I probably had, if I've had two ounces of that, mm -hmm. that's probably being a little bit you know, more than what I've actually had. So I haven't had a lot of it myself. Yeah. I've shared it because there's some people down here that's really into beer and they really want to try to taste it. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we got here on the nose first, Justin, on this on this uh, Bardstown release here. And, huh. I definitely get some, some bourbon notes on the nose, but there's definitely a little bit of beer note on the nose. I, I know that's, I know that's crude, but I don't know what else to say when I when I kind of smell beer because I'm not a big beer guy. But yeah. you get a little bit on the nose, I think. So so the 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 KBS is aged in bourbon barrels. So it's like you're getting a you're getting okay. A, I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that. You're getting kind of bourbon. Somebody made a bourbon in a barrel, and then founders went and sourced those barrels. They made the KBS. And then Barstown went back and got some of those barrels and, and, and finished off some, so, some of the whiskey there. I didn't know that. So what with what you said, then this kind of this kind of marriage here makes a, just all kinds of sense. Oh yeah. As yeah. far as a finish is concerned. Let's see what we have on the on the palate. <laughs> that, that's good. I'm getting I'm Go ahead, picking man. up those notes that, Take it, have at it. The roasted uh, kind of slight little coffee, but it's got it's got the good bourbon mm. uh, sweetness to it, and uh, the finish is nice. It's Absolutely. Good. Now, what I can say, because I was a little bit worried about this one, because as you know, Trenton knows too. These Bardstown bottles on their on their on their finished series, like they have, they're not cheap. You know what was this trend about a hundred a quarter probably I don't, I don't know yeah. I have no idea he got it <laughs> so anyways you know I, they're they're at least a hundred a quarter so they're not cheap they're absolutely not cheap so I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not a beer fan but I will tell you this I get a lot of really nice bourbon notes there mm -hmm. right off the bat you yeah. know your normal caramel toffee stuff there is on the finish and kind of on the back palate and into the finish you get that little bit of a beer note to it but but what I'm happy about is not overwhelming. Right. Different finished whiskeys and bourbons sometimes get uh, overwhelming on the finish side, whether that's sherry or wine cask or whatever. They get too far on that side and it kind of ruins it. You don't want it to overpower the bourbon, which just absolutely does not. No, no, it's it's a good blend of, of the bourbon uh, flavors. Bardstown does a lot of good, interesting uh, oh, they, yeah. finishes and, they, and they everything. They do a great job. They, they, they mix their their juice really well, so mm -hmm. to say. And uh, and to get get it in the KBS, you do get some of those uh, notes from the beer, which you know we'll try here. Yeah, and, and I'm just going by what Justin told me because we're going to get to the beer in a little bit. Believe it or not, I'm going to have some beer on the show. Trent knows. Have you ever seen me have beer ever? Never. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get to that. But in what you already said about the beer, I can pull those notes from what you said already. There is a tiny bit of a coffee note there. There's a really nice chocolate note in that bourbon and a little bit of caramel to it. And like I said, on the finish, you get a little bit of that beerish, I don't know how else to say it because I'm not a beer drinker. What, how would you describe that? That finish, if you're getting the same thing I'm getting, maybe some of the the grain, the the, the beer, perfect because uh, I roasted grains since or I'm whatever. Not, but it's uh, it's not overwhelming. Absolutely not. not. This is something I could actually sit down and enjoy a pour of now and then. This is not something me personally, not being a beer drinker, would pull off the shelf. You know, every four or five days, but every once in a while, it's pretty darn good. And it, the the beer notes are 
absolutely not overwhelming. It's excellently done and it's very harmonious and extremely well balanced. Does that sound about right to you too? What Abs you're getting? Absolutely. Um, yeah. I, I think that this, uh, it, it actually goes very well with what we're going to do here, mm -hmm. pairing it mm -hmm. with the beer. It's a good uh, kind of special occasion. You sit down. It's not it's not something you're going to drink all the time. You know, you, you just spend that much on a bottle. Anyway, you're not going to no. want to drink it all the time. So. Right. Um, all right. Now, here's the, here's the big moment of the show for me, right? <laughs> We're going to move on down on, on our on my far right and my far left. I have a, of a small pour of the uh, KBS beer in here, and we're going to taste that. So I want to try personally. I know you could probably do this a lot better than I can because this is your thing, but I want to try personally to relate some of the flavor notes that I find in this beer. Hopefully, that I can relate to this bourbon. I hope. Let's yeah, go for it. I know. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we have here in the, uh, as far as the beer is concerned. Wow. Justin, now, as you know, I'm not a beer drinker. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pull that out and drink it. I'm just not because there's definitely some, some beer qualities there that just doesn't jive with my palate. But I will promise you this. There is an extremely nice coffee note in there and an extremely nice chocolate note in there yes. for absolute sure that I can absolutely relate into the finish of that bourbon. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, they, they really did uh, do a good job of, hmm. of pulling the flavors from, from the beer barrel, the, the beer bourbon barrels. Yeah, heavy. yeah, which I didn't know that either, so that's awesome. All right, bringing this to a close real quick. You gotta get this to a close. Um, I'm impressed, actually, and, and being, and, and not, and being a, a non-beer drinker, you know, I wouldn't drink this on its own. I just wouldn't do it. But I can finish that glass and be polite to somebody that pours it to me because there's a lot more going on in this than I say in a Bud Light or something like that. Oh, yeah. You know, for I mean, sure. uh, yeah. I, just what my brother's giving me through the here, try this Coors Light. It's great. It's yeah. light. You'll yeah. love it. Yeah. Mm, not so much for me. <laughs> so, how would you, I mean, I think it, I think they did an, an A job. I mean, really. You know, with this finished process on this Bardstown, what in, in closing, what would you say about it? Definitely, I'm a big fan of Founders and the beers that they put out. KBS is always a treat to find. It's not always easy to find, um, but but there's a reason it's rated so highly. It's a very good beer. Um, and then when you told me they were coming out with this, uh, I'll be honest, I went out and got myself a bottle of the Founders Key, nice. uh Barstown. Nice. And uh, I've just cut into it a little bit myself and it's it's really good. Um, definitely awesome. gonna save it for a special occasion. It's something sure. I'm gonna cherish. It's not something I would be buying a lot of at the price point. No. But no, definitely it, it's it's very well done and yeah. uh, I'm not disappointed that I did get myself yeah. a bottle. Awesome. Hey man. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for taking your time out to come hey. down here with us to review this bottle because I, I I wanted to review this bottle, but I knew in in you know my weakness is the beer thing. I wouldn't be able to do it justice. And Justin came down here and gave his expertise, and I think it worked out really well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. We we mean that from the bottom of our hearts. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. <laughs>